Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we are viewing this C liter, if I've said that correct, energy. And that's pretty well much what there is for the design on the can of what the drink is. So Salita Energy. So I found this particular drink out of a random corner shop, actually. I think it was like a Polish corner shop. So, um, you know, obviously I think it is from Europe or something. There is two languages on the back. I think it's from Lithuania, actually, because it's got LT. So I think that means for Lithuania. But there you go, the Polish shop. Sometimes they sell a mixture of uh, different European drinks. But anyways, so yeah, Salita Energy. And I believe this is on just the original blend of flavor whatsoever so anyways let's give you guys a 4360 of the can so we have a we have a um actually very kind of cool looking can design so where first of all the can has kind of got the it's got the rough feel so it hasn't got the textured feel like the monster ultras it's got that kind of rough metal feel so it feels really nice and then on the front so we've got the sleeter energy down the middle and then we got these pictures of these now i think they're jaguars or leopards or something like that but basically some some big cat basically if you want to call it that so we've got the double um i'm just going to call them jaguars to make it easy so we've got the uh, double jaguars looking in the middle with the energy so it does look fairly cool again with the black background and the red kind of outlines and stuff it does look fairly cool 30 cam and then so we just got all the ingredients and stuff on the back in white so yeah on the bottom we've got nothing and on the top is finished off on nice black with a nice red pull ring Second and close look at the can. So literally just around the top, it just says Salita Energy, Salita Energy repeated uh, with caffeine and no sweeteners. So the caffeine content is 34 milligrams per 100 ml. So it's two milligrams higher of the average. Now the average is generally 32 milligrams per 100 ml, but those extra two milligrams, are they gonna make you win the lottery? No, they're not. So at the end of the day, it's gonna make no difference. But yeah, it just says on the front there, 34 milligrams. So anyways, reading the back of the can. So as I said, it is got no sweetness, so it is a full sugar energy drink. So after reading the ingredients, it does have 12.1 grams of sugar per 100 ml, which actually is quite high actually for today's standards. I mean, certainly in England's the standard with the sugar tax, but 12.1 grams, that is two grams higher than the, what the old average used to be. And the old average used to be 10 milligrams per 100 ml. So it's even higher than what the old average used to be, which is uh, interesting. Oh, it's got no sweeteners. Some don't look for any sweeteners. But apart from that, we have some vitamins. We have panophilic acid, vitamins B2, uh, B2, B or niacin, and vitamins B6 on here, and panophilic acid as well. So usual vitamins. There you go. Country of origin. I totally miss that. Country of origin, Lithuania. Yeah. So I was correct because of the LT for the language. So yeah, it is a Lithuanian product. Cool. Well, nevertheless, guys, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully, it won't explode over me. So, as I said, it's probably going to be like the standard original taste, colour, and smell, and everything like that, but it could be totally wrong. But there's only one way to find out. Right, hopefully, it doesn't explode over me. There we go. Not too much of a tough pouring. Made a little indent on my finger there. Right. And the colour is... Hey viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZESTYLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favours, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks guys. Hey, surprise, surprise. Bro, this is really bright yellow. Jesus, look at that. Definitely not the dark apple colour that we expect with some of the other cheaper brands. But, you know, these original energy drinks, they're either going to be one of two colours. They're either going to be the apple type colour, like the dark, really kind of dark brown. Or this is, it's either going to be kind of really the bright yellow colour, which is the colour of we. So, <laughs> but yeah, that is really bright yellow. It's only a lot brighter than I've seen with other, you know, more yellowy type energy drinks. But, yeah, blimey, that's really, really bright. There's not too many bubbles on the side whatsoever, though. There was, wasn't much fizz on the top either but yeah putting up to my light yeah that's um that's really really bright yellow it does look really really nice and it is see-through hello as you can see my face through the drink so anyway let's give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell of yeah it smells like just a, another original blend smell but it's because it's full sugar it's got that more sweeter smell to it like you definitely can smell it's got the more 
sugary smell to it rather than say some of the sugar-free ones which aren't as potent in the smell because it's got the sugar it certainly smells a lot stronger than what some sugar-free variants do it does smell nice though definitely smells like more of a premium original smell if that makes sense so it certainly smells like say something like you know maybe the rockstar original would smell or the red bull original would smell rather than some of the cheaper ones which can smell a bit more just a bit more raspy like a bit more a bit more cheaper cool well i look forward to this one actually nevertheless let's taste some Hmm. Initial reaction, it's very it's very light in flavour and there is sweetness there for the sugar, but the initial reaction is very very light and very light on the flavour. Mm. Okay. Yeah, interesting. So as I said with the initial reaction, it seems to be very, very light on flavour, which is which is interesting because even though this drink is full sugar, there doesn't seem to be much actual flavour to the drink to the point where it's like they've got all the sugar in there, but there's just no flavour. So it doesn't taste like the cheaper energy drinks where it tastes you know it can taste a bit more of that kind of cheaper blend it's almost like a it's almost like a premium tasting drink but with less flavor if that makes sense so imagine like say a full sugar red bull but less of that red bull flavor because because it's got you know that amount of sugar in it and you know it, it's definitely quite sweet i feel like it's got the sweetness there to be a full sugar like premium brand but for some reason that energy drink flavor is just less than what I've tasted in most energy drinks. And and there's not much to it. You know, I'm I'm drinking it and it's just it's just very it's just very relaxed on flavour. You know, there's no weird tastes or chemical taste or anything like that. It's just because I know when I say more of a light flavour, people think, oh you know, like Ribena is really disgusting when you put only a little bit of juice in there. That's not the case with this. You know, even though it hasn't got that strong energy drink flavour it doesn't taste nasty. It's almost like, probably the best way to describe this is, again, it's probably like a sugar-free, full sugar energy drink. And I know that makes absolutely no sense, but you know when you drink energy drinks sometimes and you drink a full sugar and then a sugar-free one, you kind of get both versions of the drink. So you think, okay, the full sugar one's got kind of the sweetness there, but it's kind of backed up with all that flavor. And then you drink the sugar-free one, you think, okay, it's got kind of, you know, the, the flavor there but it hasn't got the sugar to back it up this is kind of almost that but in a weird way because it's got sugar but the flavors relaxed it's like it's like the opposite way around in that drink and it's really interesting because i haven't tasted something kind of uh, certainly something as, as sweet as this but as light tasting for wow i think for a long long time you know certainly i'd expect something with that much sugar to certainly have a lot more stronger in the actual taste to that energy drink flavor you know yes it does taste of kind of the original energy drink flavor but like i said a very light crisp version of it and it's just so interesting because i just would not expect that from that amount of sugar oh excuse me guys busy let me try some out the can and then i give my final views Yeah, it's just it's just so light on it's just so light on that flavour. The sweetness is there, but it's just very light on the flavour. But it doesn't taste bad because it's because it's light on flavour. It doesn't taste bad. It's just like you drink it wanting more, so you keep drinking it and you're not getting any more. You're kind of just getting that set level of taste in the drink, and it's certainly different. I will give it that. But ultimately, is it super nice as a drink? Well. No, because I mean it's just different though because I'm drinking it and, and it's not disgusting. Like I will definitely drink the rest of this, regardless of the sugar, because that's this is all I will have today. But I will drink the rest of that. Now normally I'll probably chuck that away just because I think, well, it doesn't really taste of much and it's just tons of sugar. But I don't know, something just tells me that 
it's just it's okay for what it is but it, it's different and it, again because i haven't reviewed something like this for a long time it really is kind of shocked me again that i've got something like this just the combination of low taste with the sugar but it tastes fine that's just such a weird combination but um yeah i think i will give that a i'll give it in the middle guys i won't give it a thumbs up because you know i'm not jumping up and down you know around the room enjoying it but it's not disgusting by any means it's kind of just it's different it's interesting i will drink the rest of it so i'll give it in the middle for that reason so yeah there you go definitely an interesting interesting drink there from salita i'll definitely have to uh see if they've got any other drinks or stuff and see what they're doing it so as always viewers thanks for watching if you have tried that drink let me know in the comments below and you can also check my description below in the video because you can follow me on tiktok instagram or twitter or if you want to support the channel you can check out my patreon minimum support is one pound and that will go towards new drinks and things new videos for the channel so as always thanks for watching